Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. The best thing you can do for this channel is smash the like button on this video like it's a pre-transition Ellen Page, so it reaches a wider audience. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, MedVPN. If you're surfing the internet alone without a VPN, then you're surfing with Justin Skippy Trudeau. I use MedVPN to hide my location from the Canadian government, to keep my freedom of speech as well as to sail the high seas and download movies and TV shows without potentially getting sued by lawyers. MedVPN offers unlimited data traffic, no logs, a kill switch, in case your VPN temporarily goes offline, and it's only $2.45 a month on a 24-month plan. Keep your online activities private and free. Sponsor link is down below. And now on with the memes. Number one, the world has gone insane with the current Miss Alabama. She looks so good she could even compete in the Little Miss Heifer competition at the state fair. I also think they now have a new tradition where the current winner must eat the previous year's winner. I think it was her sexy fupa that impressed the judges enough to give her the prize. My only question is, why is her butt in the front? Moving on, if you want to end abortion, then you need to bang older women. Do your part by banging an old fart. I don't find older women attractive, though. Just looking at their neck and wrinkles on their face, I just can't do it. The stockings are covering her varicose veins, and as women get older, the attitude gets worse, and they get better at manipulating dudes. The crazy thing is that when I was younger, I would have banged older chicks like her. Now I have no interest in them. Number three, this yoga teacher believes white supremacy has polluted yoga, and it's about time we talk about it. She's so fat that she can't even bend over to touch her toes, though let alone do yoga. Besides, since when is sumo spelled with a Y? Maybe what she really means is that she's a yogurt teacher. She's probably pissed off that people are paying for yoga lessons from thin, hot, white women, and she feels entitled to those clients for herself. Who would you prefer? Her or this woman? Up next, the government in a German city has gone insane, telling residents to strike up a conversation with criminal migrants and encouraging them to stop committing crimes. If the government cares so much about the migrants, then why don't they tell them to stop being criminals themselves? But you know that that's not going to happen. It's just going to piss off the illegals, and they'll probably commit even more crimes. What they should do is just put them on planes and send them home. Number five, apparently, now you can get a 3D printed urn in the shape of your loved one's head. To be honest, though, it would probably just be cheaper to taxidermy her head instead. Besides, who wants your dead girlfriend's or wife's head looking out from you from the top of the fireplace? Now women can drive men crazy even from the grave. But you know that some poor widow out there is going to ask, can I get it with the mouth open? How romantic. Moving on, here's that look of feminism intensifying after seeing a hot, attractive woman. Jealousy sure is ugly. And she kind of reminds me of a baby powder bottle because it looks like she has no neck. Looks to me like Amy Schumer... Looks awful in this picture. The fatty chose the pleasure of eating Big Macs over the pleasure of getting chats while being thin, as well as the attention. I think my favorite part is the look on the face of this Smurf. It looks perfect. Number seven, this woman needs you to be six foot three and make two hundred thousand dollars a year to date her. Looks to me like even the Thai lady boys have high standards these days. I knew a guy in college who looked just like her. I also require at least an A cup, so she is definitely a fail. Also, is it my imagination, or does she look like she has a black eye, or is that just her hair on her face? She looks like some South Pacific Islander. I think I'll have to ask her to wax that mustache as well. Up next is Angry Bird, and he says that today he made his first money as a photographer, by selling his camera. I hope it wasn't a camera he stole from an actual photographer. Remember, unless you're shooting weddings, bar mitzvahs, and corporate events, most likely you're not making any money. As for this guy, congrats on failing your career as a photomagogramer. These days, it's mostly female photographers and male videographers. Number nine, Mark here says that Taylor Swift's popularity is a sign of societal decline. I completely agree. She reflects women's promiscuity back at them. Swift isn't the cause, but she's a genuine symptom of the decline that began decades ago with so-called musicians like Britney Spears. At least Swift can play the guitar and play the piano, unlike Spears. She also reflects women's obsession with cats, wealth, and status. Moving on is a 103-year-old woman saying that the secret to a long life is to avoid other people. I agree, and she's basically saying to go your own way. Based on what she's saying, 
I'm going to live to a 218. If this isn't a reason as to why you shouldn't just buy a house on land in the middle of nowhere, then I don't know what else is. She also looks like she's got a few more good years left ahead of her. People stress you out and stress shortens your life. Number 11, what the hell is wrong with Gen Z? Because they think that the thumbs up emoji is rude and passive aggressive. As for me, I view thumbs up as the measure of distance I need to place myself between myself and the mushroom cloud. Maybe Gen Z sees toxic positivity for what it is. Like those people like Mr. Beast that just give you fake smiles. But seriously, it looks like they need to harden up and hear someone from my generation telling them to toughen up. Up next, old women hate competition for men from younger women. And many believe that if you think Jenna Ortega is hot, you're weird and a pedophile. Because apparently she looks 12 to 14 years old. They seem to think that men should be attracted to old ladies, and that's what's really the unnatural thing here. I can't be attracted to a woman over 40 at all. For most of human history, at the age of 13 or 14, women were already having their first kids. She's also in her 20s now, so this PDF argument is kind of pointless. Number 13, you can hear Batman's voice in your head screaming, Where are they? Now that Netflix's new Laura Croft Tomb Raider show is out. She has invisible breasts, replaced by what appear to be sweat stains. Maybe they're smaller because of budget cuts. Meanwhile, here's a picture of Haley Adwell, the woman that was voicing the character. I think that at this point, we're all sick of liberals replacing attractive, sexy female heroes with angry lesbian-looking women. Moving on, three Washington teens are facing 10 years in prison for making skid marks on the LGBT Rainbow Road with their e-scooters. I don't think this is any way to treat heroes. Alphabet people are the new religious rulers, and by making those skids, those guys committed heresy. Yet BLM damages statues, burns down buildings, and ends people, and they don't even go to jail. You'd probably go away for 20 years if you painted a mega flag next to this. Number 15, remember while growing up some girls were just tomboys and their parents didn't put them on puberty blockers. I grew up with a bunch of them and they all turned out fine and are less argumentative and catty than women that grew up to be feminine. Today's tomboys would have had their tatas chopped off and had their forearms ripped apart to create their very own phallus. We need to make being a peppermint patty popular again. Up next, we have a woman fighting fat phobia saying that diabetes is not a punishment for being fat. She's right. It's because she's eating way too many carbs and overwhelming her pancreas, which can't clear all that sugar out of her blood. Type 2 diabetes is reversible by being on a keto or carnivore diet, but it takes discipline. Judging by the looks of her, she's lacking in that department. Her real punishment will come when she loses her legs and feet. Diabetes can also be genetic. It just means your body can't handle the sugar. Number 17, you know it's getting bad out there for women when this one reveals that she's using dating apps to stay at different men's houses after unexpectedly becoming homeless. She seems to have turned couch surfing into cock surfing, but still somehow she can afford makeup and to get her hair done. Is this woman a homeless sexual? I don't think so. This woman has officially become a hobosexual, a person who dates with the sole interest in having a place to stay. Moving on as a mother of two, and she ended her 14-year marriage for a man she was sure was her absolute soulmate, only to then be ghosted after only one magical moment together. She destroyed her family for nothing. Whoever came up with the term soulmate should be paying dividends for the divorce court attorneys for bringing them so much business. This whole story is just a fancy way for her to tell everyone that she's a cheater. She's also quite unattractive. She's lucky to have been married in the first place. Number 19, here's the difference between a world without women and a world without men. If women inherited the infrastructure, advanced countries would end up looking like the poorest parts of India in only a decade or two. If women weren't around, men would be off colonizing other worlds, while women lined up at the only functional communal toilet in their town. Also, this image is generous, saying that they could actually start a fire. I knew an expert lesbian camper, and she couldn't start a fire in the rain, and I've never started a fire before and I was able to accomplish the task that she couldn't. Up next, new evidence suggests that cavemen engaged in same-sex relationships. I can't quit you. Ooga booga. No bro, you fight that line because you look so sexy when you do it. What possible evidence could there be besides, sure it just happens? Were there male skeletons found spooning one another? I honestly bet it also wasn't consensual. I'm pretty sure they'll say that there were trans cavemen next. I'm tired of people trying to pass off this sort of broke-back caveman propaganda on everyone. Number 21, who is going to marry her? 
She was arrested attacking an IRS agent while shouting, end the Fed. She reminds me of Angelina Jolie except based. You don't even have to fix her because she already sounds perfect. Then again, she sounds like she's out of bounds on the hot crazy matrix. This should have been the look for the new Laura Croft Tomb Raider cartoon. She looks like Jolie, and she didn't need any surgeries to achieve that look. Moving on, this swimmer from Paraguay launches her Lonely Fans page, months after the Olympics. What else did you think she was going to do to make money now? How shocking a woman that was kicked out of the Olympic dorms is doing OF for cash. But who is paying to see women like this? Because the hub is free. You spend five minutes and you're done for the day. Number 23, a Dallas man went back to bed after ending a burglar. After all, a man has got to get his eight hours no matter what. Plus, I believe in Texas it's legal to end somebody on your property like it is in Florida. Correct me if I'm wrong. I bet he also leaves his dishes overnight in the sink. The man loves to live dangerously. And he probably slept like a baby that night. He's under no obligation to call the cops immediately, and he didn't break any laws. Up next, this woman says she hates this generation of men these days because they'll break up with women that cheat on them without fighting the man she cheated on him with. So basically, men are smartening up and not giving cheating women their drama fix. This generation of men are realizing that the only way to win is not to play the game. And ironically enough, her online name is Faithful. What kind of crazy world is this? Number 25 and the last one, some kid's mom asks him why he took a picture of those five male ducks and a white goose. He says, don't worry, because the internet will get it. Looks to me like these ducks are about to spit roast that goose. Human beings, after all, are a part of nature, so it makes sense that we do the same. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Please give this video a like to push it up in the algorithm and so new viewers can find it. If you enjoyed this series and want me to keep making more, then donate at the PayPal and subscribe star links below. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day and cheers.